In the world of Demon Slayer, there's a special weapon used to defeat demons that come out when the sun goes down. It's called the Nichiren Blade. Without it, demons could not be defeated. So for today, I'd like to explain the different colors, types, and characteristics of the Nichiren Blades of the Demon Slayer core. Make sure to watch till the end, and we will introduce the unique Nichiren Blades of the Pillars, also known as the Hashira, and the main characters with images. Nichiren Blade Apart from sunlight, the only way that demons can be defeated is by cutting their necks with a Nichiren Blade. Nichiren Blades are formed with Scarlet Crimson Iron Sand and Scarlet Crimson Ore, both of which are found in high mountains like Sunlight Mountain, which is perpetually bathed in sunlight all throughout the year. The ores used for the sword are given to successful Demon Slayer recruits who pass the final selection. But what's amazing about the sword is that it changes color depending on the user. So as soon as the user picks it up, the Nichiren Blade gets a distinct color. Because of that, it's also called the Color Changing Blade. However, if someone else holds it, the color won't change anymore. The reason why the color changes is because the blade reflects the owner's talent, personality, and skill. For example, Stone Breathing turns the blade gray, Thunder Breathing yellow, Wind Breathing green, Flame Breathing turns the blade red, and finally, Water Breathing turns it blue. Nichiren Blades are amazing, right? Now, I'm going to summarize the various types, colors, characteristics, and effects of the Nichiren Blade. Color and Character Correlation White Muichiro Tokito The Nichiren Blade of the Mist Pillar has a simple shape and white color that resembles the mist. The handguard has a unique design with gold rim squares that overlap. The shape of the blade is that of a common katana. You can also see that he has a calm temperament and is often lost in his thoughts. It's a simple design, quite like Muichiro himself. Green Sanami Shinazugawa The Nichiren Blade of the Wind Pillar is bright green. It shows a high competency in wind breathing. The handguard is shaped like a windmill with eight diamond shapes in a circle. Shinazugawa is as loud as his wind breathing and he brings down demons with the wrath of strong winds. Looks like Shinazugawa is as rough as he looks. Orange, Tengen Uzui. The color of the Sound Pillar Sword is orange. Since sound breathing is derived from thunder breathing, it is most likely that the color is orange, close to yellow. The two swords are huge, and the total length is about the height of Tanjiro. And fittingly, the swords are as flashy as Azui himself. Gray, Gyomei Himejima. The color of Himejima's weapon is gray. But what's unique about it is that his weapon is not a sword, but a hand axe with a spike flail attached to the hilt through a long chain. He uses it by cutting the demon's neck with the axe or the flail, or by strangling the demon with the chain. Also, Gyomei's robust personality and wisdom make Grey a perfect match for him. Of course, only the strongest pillar has the strongest weapon. Light Crimson, Kanao Suyuri. Kanao Suyuri's Nichiren Blade is a light crimson sword. The handguard and the sheath have plum flower patterns, making it look cute. It is as cute as Kanao, right? Pink. Mitsuri Kanroji It's no surprise that her Nichiren Blade turned pink. Apart from using love breathing, Mitsuri is a passionate, shy, and cheerful character who always compliments people, at least in her head. Her Nichiren Blade has a special ribbon-like shape that can encircle or twist around and be used as a whip. I'm not gonna lie, it looks good on Mitsuri. Light Blue-Gray, Shinobu Kocho Shinobu's sword is light blue-gray. This is because insect breathing was derived from water breathing. Also, her sword has a special shape, with the rest of it scraped off, only leaving the sword with a sharp tip and a thin body. If you haven't noticed, her handguard is also shaped like a butterfly. She can put poisons on her sword, and the type and amount of poison can be changed. Indigo Grey, Inosuke Hashibara. Inosuke's Nichiren Blade is Indigo Grey. Even the swordsmith, Kozu Kanamori praised it for its beautiful color. After living in the mountains, he learned beast breathing, which is derived from wind breathing. At first, it's a very beautiful blade, but... But Inosuke chipped the sword by hitting it and turned it into a jagged sword. Still, it's a perfect match for him though, right? Yellow, Zenitsu Agatsuma. Zenitsu's Nichiren Blade features a yellow thunder pattern. It definitely matches his thunder breathing. Even the handguard has features of lightning. 
Zenitsu may look like he's a coward with low self-esteem, but at the right time, he demonstrates his true power at the speed of lightning. Zenitsu's true strength appears expectedly and explosively like lightning. It's so cool! Purple, Obana Iguro. The Snake Pillar's Nichiren Blade has a snake-like moving blade. The color is purple. Definitely looks matching for the Snake Pillar. The handguard is green and has a snake pattern carved into it. It's just as anyone could imagine. Blue, Giyu Tomioka. The color of Giyu's sword is blue, or rather, deep light blue. This sword shows that he has a deep aptitude for water breathing. The shape is that of a thin katana. The brim is a turtle-like hexagonal shape, the base of the sheath is black, and the tip is gold. It definitely matches Giyu's fluid and flexible fighting style, along with his cool personality. Red, Kyojiro Rengoku. The color of Rengoku's sword is red, like a burning flame. It shows that he has a deep aptitude for flame breathing. The sword is covered with a design of burning flames. Just like the heat of a blazing fire, he has a burning passion for killing demons. The hot burning sword definitely resembles Rengoku's personality. Black, Tanjiro Kamado. The main character, Tanjiro, has a jet black sword. It is thought that the sword turned black because of Tanjiro's aptitude of sun breathing, which is related to the Hinokami Kagura, dance of the fire god that his father taught him when he was a child. However, when Nezuko's demon art, Exploding Blood, charges up Tanjiro's sword, it turns red. The red shining blade is very cool and fits perfectly with Tanjiro's image. That's it. Today I have summarized the colors and types of Nichiren blades. It's interesting to know that the Nichiren blade is not only a weapon that can kill demons, but it also changes color according to the owner's characteristics. It's quite amazing how each sword is entirely unique. You might find it interesting to take a better look at the Nichiren Blades when you reread Kimetsu no Yaiba's manga or you watch the anime and movie. So, which Nichiren Blade do you like? Personally, I think Gyomei's Nichiren Blade look big, powerful, and strong. Please tell us in the comments down below which Nichiren Blade you think is the strongest. Thanks for making it until the end of the video. I'm planning to upload a video that will surprise everyone soon. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to make sure that you won't miss it. But for now, I'll see you in the next video.